this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the transformation features that is translating elements in the Katia V5 in the Power Design Workbench. So this translating elements feature can be used in surface design, part design or any any workbenches. So it's a common operation. So I'm going to open up part design for the time being and uh, on the left side you can see a drawing so this in this drawing I'm, uh, I'm, in, I'm, you, I'm gonna use this drawing and I'm gonna demonstrate how you can use the translate elements command so basically I'm gonna draw this uh, particular uh, uh, link over here so I'm gonna start up with the uh, drawing so as you can see the radius is 12 over here I'm gonna draw 12 so the diameter should be 24. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And uh, so, how to translate? Select, insert, go to the operation, transformation, translate. And select a base point over here and give the distance what you require. See, as you can see here, this distance is 30. So I'm going to give a 30 over here and uh, a 30 and enter and just uh, select the direction so that's it now what I'm going to do I'm going to take and I'm going to you know fix this particular thing over here so that doesn't move so as you can see here the radius over here is 40 so I'm going to tangent both of the circles over here I'm going to give tangency and uh, I'm select this and give mirror so basically this drawing requ I mean requires a lot of translate commands so that's the reason why I've selected this drawing to show you how well you can use this command in this kind of situation so I'm gonna come out and give a padding of uh, this this is the side view so I hope you can understand that this is a chain and this is a side view of the chain so here it's 21 minus 15 divided by 2 will give you this distance so 21 minus 15 is 6 and divided by 2 is 3 so 3 and click OK so we have our first linkage over here so now we need um, to this linkage and the radius is going to be this larger radius over here that is uh, 7 here this is 5 so I'm going to select this and put a circle of radius 7 that will be of diameter of 14 so 14 and press enter select the circle and uh, it's gonna be 14 and uh, operation again comes to translate select and select the base point give 30 Give 30, press enter, and show the direction. Come out of the sketch and do padding. The padding over here is 15, so I'm going to give 15 and click OK. Now I need a plane over here so that I can do the mirroring right here. So I'm going to give a plane, and uh, I'm going to give uh, 7.5. So I'll get the plane in the middle so I can do mirroring of this particular element so I'm going to select this go to the mirror again uh, so you can uh, do the mirroring right here select the plane and click OK so now I'm going to do the second linkage over here so I'll start up over here over here I'll just uh, sketch and uh, I'm going to put a circle right here so that circle is going to be of uh, radius as you can see here it's 10 so diameter 20 so the circle is going to be concentric and uh, again comes the translate command Select, give here 
thirty. And uh, click over here. Now the radius is gonna be thirty. So select this and give a fix. And uh, select this and this. Give tangency and give a radius of thirty. Now I'm gonna trim the circle and select and uh, give a mirroring over here. Straight away, I'm gonna come out of the sketch. So before that, we just check all the dimensions are proper, 20 and 30 distance. If you want, you can check whether this is showing it right. Showing it right. So come out of the sketch. Now give a padding of how much. So the padding should be, as you can see, this is 27 and uh, this is 21. 27 minus 21 divided by 2 will be three so you can uh, try it out by yourself and find it out so now select this padding and uh, again do the mirroring option select this and click OK so again as you can see over here there's a small uh, small uh, you know projection over here that is of uh, this particular circle so the radius over there is 5 so I'm gonna create a circle of uh, diameter 10 and I'm gonna select this and give a concentricity and again I'm gonna use a translate command so this figure gives you a lot of uh, you know chance to use translate command that's the reason as I said before that I selected this figure to show you so now I'm going to come out of the sketch and do padding of 1.5 as you can see here this is 27 and this is 30 so 30 minus 27 divided by 2 will be 1.5 so I'll click OK now I'll select these two paths I'll give mirroring so I'll use a plane over here and click OK so here in this small figure we have used translation around three or four times so I hope you understood how you can use a translate command so when it comes to the 3d how you can do the translation of a 3d object so select this pad and uh, go to the insert and go to operations transformation and go to translation so they'll be asking whether you want to keep the specifications so click yes and uh, you need to show a direction which you want to do the translation as you have not given any direction I'll click cancel and I'll, uh, sh I'll draw a direction so let this be our direction <coughs> so let's see what happens and I'll give translate over here so I'm going to uh, go to the translation over here click yes and uh, the direction is going to be this one and give around uh, 10 and click OK what happens over here is in this direction a 10 units have been translated and the whole thing moves so translation in 3D in the path modeling can also be u used to, to move uh, with a particular distance the distance we want so that's about translation command so any doubts you have uh, any clarifications uh, you can uh, you are very free to ask me be very free to ask me doubts and comment everything uh, I hope a lot of uh, support from you guys so uh, and I hope you follow my video subscribe me like my videos and uh, support me and I too will work uh, from my part to uh, you know clarify your doubts and give you more uh, you know more uh, you know knowledgeable things related to Katia V5. Thank you.